I'm Alice Warford and welcome back to The W. As you all know by now, the coronavirus has become the most concerning issue around the world and has affected all of our lives in a very unpredictable way. Unlike an epidemic, the coronavirus is a pandemic, meaning that it is prevalent throughout the entire United States. Because of this, government agencies like the U.S. Department of State has been trying to save lives by enforcing social distancing measures and distributing medical equipment. The U.S. Department of Labor has been providing financial help to those who are unemployed and facing financial struggles. However, these measures are only doing so much to stop the impact that the virus has made on the economy. The good news is that the curve in the United States seems to be flattening due to the social distancing measures our local governments have implemented. Social distancing is when we deliberately increase the physical space between people to avoid the spread of infectious diseases. Many people are doing this by working from home, visiting loved ones virtually, and canceling gatherings like weddings and religious events. Most noticeably, schools across the country, including colleges, are suspending classes and switching to a web-based learning system. All schools in California and in New York City have officially shut down for the rest of the year, which is extremely sad for the graduating seniors who will miss out on the rest of their senior year. Social distancing guidelines were first mandated in March, but President Trump has extended these federal guidelines until May 15th, which has become very controversial. Even though social distancing measures are the only guarantee for preventing the spread of COVID-19, it has caused many people to lose their job and for lots of small businesses to go into bankruptcy. Since there are no vaccines or medicine for the virus, keeping distance from society is the only measure that will stop someone from getting sick. Some experts are even saying that we should wait until 2022 until we start abolishing social distancing guidelines. This has been Alice Warford with The W and thank you for watching.